All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to build a pattern for a six inch Atlas compound slide. So let's get to it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. All right, so I think the first step I'm going to work on is trying to build something to fill in these, uh, these dovetails on the small one. And uh, I just happen to have some of these little bits of pine laying around. And it's about the right thickness to go in there. So I copied the angle, and I'm not sure what that is. Looks like it, I don't know, could be a 60 degree dovetail, not exactly sure. Uh, we're not trying to make a machine service though, we're just trying to fill a space, so it's not that uh, critical. So I took my vise and I just tipped it up and I laid the, this is a good tip, right? It's easy to plane things more or less flat. So I just put my um, bevel gauge on here and kind of eyeballed this flat. We're going to plane an angle on here and we'll compare it to our, our gauge. We're going to have to take off a little bit more than that, I think. I think I'm going to grab something that's going to take a little bit more material off also. All right, for you guys who don't use hand planes, this is this is called a scrub plane. And you can see just how big that opening is. It's at least a quarter of an inch. And the blade has a very large radius on it. So this thing is meant for really plowing material off. All right, so you need to deep, deepen the cut a little bit. And they don't have a, a normal depth adjuster. You just got to tap on it there we go I like that for a chip huh we're just trying to get kind of down close to that angle and then we'll come back with the smoothing plane and dial it all in all right all right. That's a little bit loose. There we go. All right, let's see how this compares to our gauge. Pretty close. Uh, we gotta angle it back that way just a little bit. We've cut it too acute. Okay, it's getting pretty close. All right, that looks pretty good there. Check this side, get my plane out of the way. Let's pull it out of the vise, I guess, to check. Okay, that looks real good. And if it's good inside the dovetail, now I just gotta have to cut this off and smooth it up and fit it in there. I'll have to make two of those. You know, just for just for kicks, I'm gonna see if I can't uh, make this. Maybe I'll cut it at an angle so I can it'll sort of wedge cut it at an angle across here and then I'll cut this side with the same angle and then I can slip it in there and I can fill in this whole uh, 
this whole section right here that needs to be filled up anyway and then I can just trim out all the stuff that needs to go you know to leave this pocket in here all right scrub this side hopefully the grains still working for me Got that roughed in. You can hear how irregular it is though. All right, that's smoothing it up pretty good. Compare it to our gauge. How close we are this time. Yeah, that's, that's really close. Let's see how it looks all the way across here. Oh yeah, that's in. That's right on. Sometimes you get lucky. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a slight angle cut across this piece. Because it, it's too wide to go into there. But by having that angle, that makes these wedges. And I'll be able to slide this thing together with a little glue in it and wedge it right into position. And it should fill up the gap really good and stay nice and firm in there we don't want this thing to come out over time so i'm just gonna lay a straight edge on here this is not something that requires measurements really Let's see if i take my striking knife and just give myself a little line to follow yeah, that should be good enough and i've this is one of the, the assets of really having a pattern maker's vice. I've got this thing tipped where it's clamping flat to the table. You know, let me get a pencil. That line's a little hard to see. Okay, I hope you can see that line now. So anyway, that's one of the assets of having this pattern maker's vice is I can set this thing up where I can clamp straight down on it. And it's got leather lined jaws. You could set this up and clamp it down to the edge of your bench somehow, but that's really solid right there. And this is a, really it was originally, it was a, a cross cut saw, but I've, I've kind of set it up for doing, you know, long grain work. And I use it for cutting off stuff like this all the time. All right, there we go. There we go, see, so now we have a, a nice little wedging action going on there. Okay, so you can see that's fitting in, inside the dovetails pretty good, but uh, kind of got a little bit of a gap here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just match plane these two together so they'll fit up better because that's not going to make a very good glue joint. All right, so I've taken those things, they were laying like this, and just folded them together and lined up the ends here. And it's, this is just a saw cut edge. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty decent cut edge, but it's just not going to clamp up very well. So there's always the fear that you might, you know, plane angled one way or the other, but if you lay them together like this, when you close it up, it should be complementary. And we try to make it nice and flat anyway, but this will make it a little bit easier to put everything back together. Oops. All right, let's see how that works. Looks pretty good anyway. Should be good enough to glue it back together. There you see. So that'll lay together like that. That's a pretty decent joint. Wood's springing a little bit, but if I hold it tight, there we go, see? Lays together pretty good. And we'll also lay together nice and flat in there. All right, so 
tie bond too. That's that's a very good glue. I like to use it. Um, I also use uh, tie bond number three quite a lot. And one of the advantages of the number three is that it's uh, it's more waterproof. So uh, you know, which is good in foundry pattern work because a lot of times this stuff is going to get molded up in sand that is a water-based sand and it has a longer open time let's see if we can slide all this in there in one go here we are okay get it kind of lined up and then push the wedges together of course everything wants to wiggle around there we go Perfect. Smooth that all off. If you guys enjoyed seeing these patterns get built, please click on the horizontal mill icon here. Get yourself subscribed and make sure to come back for the next episode. We'll see you guys around.